And surprisingly, still get questions about credit cards mula sa mga mas matatanda sa akin, whether employed or not. So, I figured to create this vlog all about credit cards. Please watch till the end. Ano nga ba ang credit card? Ang credit card ay isang piece of plastic na pwede mong gamitin na pambayad o pambili kahit wala kang pera. Pero dahil ginamit mo to kahit wala kang pera, magkakaroon ka ngayon ng utang sa banko. Yan ang general concept ng credit card. Ngayon, paano naman magkaroon ng credit card? There are two ways. Una, mag-apply ka syempre sa banko o di kaya sa mga credit card agents. Yung mga credit card agents, ito yung mga madalas lumalapit sa atin sa mall at nagtatanong whether meron na tayong existing credit cards. Tapos mag-offer pa sila na may libreng tayong, sombrero, or kung ano man. Sila yung mga credit card agents. Ngayon, yung pangalawang way naman to get one ay to do nothing. Yes, minsan magugulat ka na lang may sa sa'yo na magdi-deliver daw ng credit card. At usually nangyayari lang to kapag meron ka ng existing record sa banko. Maybe dahil meron ka ng previous transaction with them, nag-loan ka na sa kanila, o di kaya meron ka ng savings account sa kanila. For the specific requirements, documentary requirements, kapag nag apply sa mga banko, uh, hindi ko na siya dadaanan dito, but um, in general, ang gusto lang naman talagang malaman ng banko ay kung meron kang ability to pay yung mauutang mo sa kanila. So, for example, they may ask for a proof of income like your payslip. Ngayon, na alam mo na ang concept ng credit card at kung paano magkaroon ng credit card, siguro naiisip mo na, uy, mag-apply na ako, kukuha na ako. But, wait a minute. Before you apply, make sure na you are emotionally and financially ready. Emotionally ready in the sense na hindi ka na basta-basta bibili or mako-convince na bumili kahit hindi mo kailangan dahil lang may promo, um, naka-sale, gano'n. So, bawal to sa mga marurupok, mga pokmaru. <laughs> um, pwede din siguro if you are financially ready. Financially ready, kumbaga, meron ka na, because whatever you purchase using your credit card will eventually be collected from you. So, kailangan mo itong bayaran sa banko, otherwise, mababaon ka nga sa utang. So, you also have to know whether you have the capacity to pay. And for you to know that, uh, I previously uploaded a vlog about this. I'll put the link below. So, with, please watch it to learn more about establishing or determining whether you have the capacity to pay. Marami na rin akong na-meet na mga tao na may idea naman sa credit card, pero uh, they still choose not to use credit cards because they have a very negative impression of it. Dahil marami na daw silang kakilala mga tao na feeling na nila nalaloko sila, kaya eventually nababaon sila sa utang. So let me enlighten you on the benefits of credit cards. Provided you use it properly and within your limits, marami ka talagang benefits dito. Number one of the benefits is that you delay your payments. Dahil nga utang ito, di ba? So, if you need something or you need to purchase something yet you don't have the cash, you can use your credit card and pay it on your due date. Yung due date mo pa na yan, pwede pang mag-extend. Um, have you heard of those promo na uh, buy a minimum of 3,000 pesos using your participating credit cards and pay your bill after 3 months with 0% interest. Yes, nangyayari yan. So, instead of your due date na usually nangyayari within 30 days, babayaran mo lang yung nabili mo after 3 months. So, it happens. So, it helps you a lot in managing your finances. So, kung gupit, gipit ka ngayon at may inaasahan kang proceeds sa mga susunod na buwan, pwede mo yung gamitin kapag naging due na yung babayarin mo. At sa tingin ko naman, hindi lang ako, pero marami sa atin ang nakakaranas ng Pecha de Peligro, yun bang 
akala mo sahod na ng Friday, pero Monday pa pala. So, pwede mo gamitin yung credit card mo na pang ng groceries. Okay. Number two sa mga benefits ay it can help you track your expenses. So, unlike cash na usually nasa kamay mo lang at pinambabay ng pinambabayad, minsan hindi mo na namamalayan, ubos na siya, ang credit card kahit papaano, you'll be able to know or look back kung ano talaga or saan mo nagamit ang iyong pera because you have your credit card statement nandohan lahat ng purchases mo using or transactions mo using the credit card at alam naman natin na the best way for you to manage your personal finances is to track your expenses so your credit card is one of the tools na pwedeng makatulong sa iyo para mag-track ng iyong expenses. Number 3 sa mga benefits ay pwede mo siyang gamitin for emergency purposes. For example, merong na-hospitalize. I mean, hindi naman literal na may ma-hospitalize lang kay. Eh. So, maraming form of emergency, but for this specific example, for example, merong na-hospitalize at wala kang talagang pera, ang credit card serves as an immediate line of credit na pwede ka na lang makakuha ng loan in just a phone call. Yes, that is correct. Because before they even grant you your credit card, they are already able, so the banks are already able to establish na kaya mo talaga magbayad. And so, with just one phone call, madalas, I'm not sure kung merong mga nade-decline, but pero madalas, na-approve siya. And it will usually be credited within two days. So, napaka-convenient. You don't have to go to the bank, fill up a lot of forms. Ayun, ready na siya. Number four sa mga benefits ng pagkakaroon ng credit card ay ang mga incentives. So, basically, uh, it is the credit card company encouraging their customers to spend more. So, once you, for example, na-reach mo ang certain threshold ng spending, then you'll get vouchers. Or you'll, you'll earn travel points, minsan cashbacks, mga na na promo. Actually, minsan, sobrang bumili mo sa credit card kasi bigla na lang silang tumawag. They offered me to avail a loan from them with 0% interest. And, I was able to prove na talagang walang interest, except for a service fee or processing fee na 200 pesos. Yes. Kinawa ko siya. And then I invested it somewhere else. Okay. Anyway, so isa yun sa mga perks ng pagkakaroon ng credit card. Number five, it gives you an opportunity to establish a good credit score. Ang credit score, isa itong metric na para ma-assess ng mga financial institutions yung ability mo na magbayad. Yes. So basically, itong mga banko na to, hindi ko alam paano sila nag-uusap, pero malalaman nila or ma-establish nila na itong taong to ay good payer. So, mas maganda yung credit score na maibibigay sa iyo. Necessary ito kapag nag-a-apply ka ng mas malalaking loan. For example, housing loan or loan na kailangan mo for your business. And number six, actually yung convenience. Sa ngayon naman, sa panahon ngayon, convenient na lahat eh. Meron ka namang GCash, meron ka ding ATM na pwede mo rin pambayad when you're buying something. So, ganun din yung credit card. Kaya hindi ko na masyadong in-emphasize ang convenience. So, yun yung mga benefits ng, of having a credit card. Pero, syempre, if there is a benefit, syempre, there's a cost. Ang cost na yun ay yung annual service fee or annual fee na tinatawag. Ito yung fee na kailangan mong bayaran sa banko para continuously magamit yung credit card mo. Madalas, kaya you don't have to worry dahil madalas, nawi-wave naman to. You just have to call your bank and then negotiate with them that you're actively using the card, ganyan. Or otherwise, ask them kung pa, anong pwede mong gawin para ma-wave nila yung service fee. So far, in my case, never pa ako nagbayad. They will just ask you to purchase or to spend a certain amount up until a certain period para ma-wave yung annual fee mo. So, ang pwede mong gawin, you can tap your friends. Maybe they need some financing. You can offer it to them. Basta, trustworthy sila. So, walang problema. That's my way of being able to waive my annual fee para hindi na kumagunayan. 
hindi natin ididenahin na madami rin talagang nababaon sa utang because of their credit cards. Yes. Again, uditin ko, yung tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, you just have to be emotional, emotionally and financially ready before you use your credit card because once you miss your deadline, medyo mahal ang penalties, number one, na ma-incur mo, at number two, mga interest. So, if you don't if you do not want to suffer, balik tayo sa basic concept. Pagod din ulit yung video na in-upload ko previously. Link below. That's it! I hope marami kayong natutunan sa video na to. Thank you so much for watching. If you have other topics na gusto nyong i-cover ko, make sure to leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll try my best to give you better contents. Uh, sa ngayon, pagtsagaan nyo ito muna. And thank you so much!